Welcome back everyone, John Panio here with another video. Today we're going to be showcasing Encorp Middlehammer Rodion. She's the newest character that just dropped with the latest banner. She has a rate up, so if you guys want to check her out, you can definitely pull on her, but she is a questionable pull. I'm not too sure if you guys want to pull for her and I'll demonstrate why. She has right now level 30 up tie 3, so she's maxed up. She has 138 health. Speed 3 to 7, 29 defense. She's ineffective to slash, normal to pierce, and fatal to blunt. Her skills are decent, but not strong, and I'll explain why. Her base skill, Devola Hammering, is a 3 base with plus 4 with 2 coin flip, and on hit inflicts 2 bleed. Her Zealous Purge is a 6 base plus 2 with 2 coins, so the potential of 10. Clash win, she gains a Fanatic, and on hit inflict nails. With Fanatic, all this means is they'll put Rodion will do more damage if the enemy has Nails affected on her. Simple enough. What Nails is, is Nails at the start of the turn gains one bleed and increases the bleed count by the count of this effect. So what that means is if I have six Nails on an enemy, this Nail count applies on the enemy next turn. So when the enemy has a Nail on them, the Nails don't trigger the bleed that turn. So how it works is, let's just say there's an enemy with zero bleed, zero stack. I inflict one nail on them. They will take next turn one bleed count debuff and one or one bleed stack count damage and one count. Oh, this is gonna be basically it's gonna be one one, one bleed damage for one instance. But if this person had say for example six nails applied on the enemy, then that means when the six nails all get applied this turn, next turn, they will ha take one stack of bleed. So that six nail will turn into one stack of bleed and six count of bleed. So six instances of one bleed damage. But then your nails will go from six to three. And also this attack inflicts par paralyzed for next turn as well. So it's kind of good as a debuff. But this skill might be bugged and I'll show you why later. Ironclad Retribution is a base of 4 with plus 2, so it's got the potential to, with 4 flips to go with a 12, and she does 15% more damage while this unit is in Fanatic mode, and she can inflict potentially 3 bleeds. Now her passive is situational, but useful when it does apply. But the caveat is 1, you have to use 3, Wrath, and 2, you have to kill a unit to get the passive. So what is it? It's called Joy of Execution. After an enemy is defeated, gain 1 haste and 1 damage up, and if this unit defeated the enemy, also gain fanatic once per turn so in theory it's a decent skill but the execution is a little bit jank in the sense that number one an enemy has to die and number two you have to have three wraths used so it can be useful when it hits and it's universally good but the situation to get this working can be hit or miss sometimes you get three wrath not kill an enemy completely with sometimes you get three wrath or sometimes you kill the enemy don't get three wrath same thing Effect doesn't apply. Same thing with her passive. After an enemy is defeated, apply one haste and one damage up to the enemy with the highest SP once per turn. Same thing. Conditions are relatively easy to meet, but obviously you need three wrath and an enemy has to die. Now, her ego, briefly, it's okay. Her ego is what is cast. What is cast requires one gloom, three pride. It is also useful for inflicting bleed, four bleed, and she can provide the pride herself because she has the devoted hammering so she can build up pride but she needs someone to give her gloom but that shouldn't be too hard so overall this ego works very well with her uh just get someone who can use gloom now we're going to showcase her in stage 2-18 with a bunch of meat shields so that way i can show you guys how her kit works and potentially why her skill second skill zealous Char second skill yeah her second skill might be bugged and isn't working and the reason for that is going to be interesting. So first and foremost, we are just going to have everyone just defend. And we will just start using her skill to try to get it so that she will be able to get more skills down. So with her devoted hammering, the enemy going to get two instances of bleed. So this is where it gets interesting. So in theory, what should happen is she is going to attack that guy who is staggered and I should be applying one nail next turn as you can see inflict nails next turn so I'm going to be buying one nail next turn so what should happen with this 
character is right now it's at a stack of never mind i'm an idiot the skill is working as intended so it looks like the nails apply at the beginning of the next turn but it gives you the bleed proc right away and what will happen is at the end turn this bleed is going to go down by half oh my god such an idiot for not reading okay so what that means is if the unit had two stacks of nail they would get one bleed two bleed counts and one stack of bleed and at the end of the turn it goes down by half so how nails work is you apply it at the start of the turn the debuff triggers as in you'll get the bleed count and also the counts of bleed and then at the end of the turn is when the nails dissipate so as you can see this character very useful for getting those bleed stacks up but it's also one of those situations where if i just fight the enemy is automatically going to clash and because they are clashing all those bleed stacks that you did generate is going to disappear very quickly so the only way to be able to use her properly is to either a use her with Mersault 3 and we're talking about the ego extraction Mersault 3 the one that's on the banner so end court Mersault or b use her with a ton of bleed units bleed units like Ryoshi 3 star or Hong Lu 2 star uh, we'll be trying to showcase that in the next fight but as you can see right here we're gonna be winning but let's try to showcase her with a slightly better team so we're gonna take her into stage three four and we're gonna have a ton of meat shields but we're gonna be using hong lu as well and hopefully she those two will be able to focus fire down enemies and see what happens so we're gonna take her into stash three dash four where she's fatal to blunt but we are going to be using our hong lu and we'll be using this team here so should be pretty decent uh we're gonna need some meat shields though definitely going to need some meat shields uh we will be needing someone who can apply gloom so we're gonna apply gloom uh, okay he's kind of decent at applying gloom so okay sure we'll go with this we'll go with this team but they're gonna be using mainly defense skills so we'll work at it with that so we're gonna have all the units defend and we're just gonna have hong lu and rodeon just try to steamroll the content most of the guys will defend it should work in theory we're gonna try to focus down one person with their bleed skill so defend 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 and attack with bleeds so rodeon's getting hit of course hopefully he doesn't get staggered right away because that would suck she got staggered right away that sucks all right cool as you can see one other thing that makes her kind of weak is she is prone to losing clash her clashing power isn't strong like even at stage 2 dash 4 she's just getting demolished her coin flip isn't strong enough where she can clash effectively because her first skill is a base of like four and her final skill her skill 3 is also a base of four which is terrible all right, meat shields doing okay. All right, defend, 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 and let's get the bleeds going. But above, above, and defend. So she was able to beat this guard's guard, but as you can see, it can get really high with her skill. But unfortunately, she's just not quite strong enough to be really able to do enough damage to the enemy so defend 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 and let's go with the double nail we'll go with the double nail actually no we'll use the zealous charge it showcase the damage so in this case the other charge was okay this one should be doing a ton of damage but we're missing the heads so since we're missing the heads we're actually not doing any damage we actually miss all the heads unlucky but just having her with hong lu in theory should be good but our boy hong lu went down so let's just keep trying to have her solo everything by herself we'll do big damage and nail so she ooh tremored staggered unfortunate so as you can see she got absolutely eviscerated so did the rest of my team and also a note 
guarding sucks, as you can see, just straight guarding is terrible. Terrible! But, as you can see, she is kind of hard to pilot. Just trying to get two units to work bleed together isn't quite strong enough. Her clashing power is quite weak outside of using her zealous charge which has a higher base of six the only time i would recommend you guys use her is if you have three star mersault and corp and if you have two star hong lu and if you have three star ryoshu and you're using don quixote's uh ego those are the only few times that i would recommend you to use this character only because this character is kind of mediocre it's fun you can apply bleeds but her kit right now is almost the same as i would say no well, i hate to say it but it's almost the same as w corp faust because even though they have a game plan they want to play into which is bleed and nails and she wants to go into self-charge and do debuffs they don't do it reliably by themselves on their own so their kit is somewhat half-baked so overall, I would say she is a fun character. She isn't a strong character by any means. I can see that she can have a lot of potential synergy in the future with more Encorp units because Nail can be pretty busted if you can inflict a ton of bleed and a ton of bleed counts on the enemy with Nail. But you're going to need to have units that can really support it. Like 2-star Hong Lu, 3-star Ryoshu, 3-star Encorp Mersault, uh, Don Quixote's Ego. So you're going to need a lot more bleed to make this worthwhile. Because as you can see right now, just being able to apply 1 or 2 counts of nails on the enemy is just not enough. And you need to be able to have someone apply bleeds on it so this in reality is probably only going to be good in abnormalities where you can control where your units hit but outside of abnorm abnormalities just human battles is just terrible for this character because you can't target what you want so overall this character is fun i would say it's strong ish but not really overwhelming Base of three, base of four is really weak. It has a you know decent coin flip, but you know it's 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 on the weaker end. Uh, Zealous purge better on the higher end, so I would say this is a character that you only really want to be using if you're winning your fights and have a lot of momentum. If you're like slightly behind, you're better off using like Zealous purge because you want to be able to have a high base. But overall, seeming kind of mediocre, can pretty strong. I can see the potential, but overall probably not worth investing in her unless you really want to go into a full bleed build if you go into a full bleed build i think she'd probably be worth it but it would take some experimentation because number one you need to have a very particular team three star ryoshu two star hong lu three star encorp mersault this two star rodeon and a don quixote with her bleed ego and that's the only way where i can really see the bleed team shining outside of that though i would love to hear your guys thoughts on this one if you guys have this character let me know what team you've been using her how you've been liking her as usual if you have any comments questions or concerns let me know down in the comment section down below i stream almost every day on twitch right now and i also have a discord community so make sure you hop into that i'll see you guys later jump in signing out bye for now